guys, welcome to week three of the SBF Fit for Fall Challenge. And I just wanna encourage you guys to be keeping your gratitude journal. I wanna see more um, of your testimonials for this because it just really does make a huge difference in our attitudes and our daily life and just taking care of ourselves. When we start to become thankful for what we have, for our health, for you know, being able to exercise, for having an abundance of food to choose from, and all of these other things, like, it's just going to change our perspectives. And as many of you know, based on the post that I did this morning, uh, we have a crew here, our team is here, um, we've got people, uh, trainers from all over the world, even one as far as Hong Kong, here to work with us on Bar Amped, and tomorrow we work on SPF. And it's just struck me today when I was in makeup, and Mars is like doing my hair and I'm thinking, I, you know, I can never make my hair look like this. She's amazing. She's, we've been working together for a long time. And I really wanted to reiterate to you that with a crew and great lighting and a great wardrobe and a professional photographer, you can really get some great shots and even without Photoshop. But there are plenty of shots that aren't that great and we just have to weed through that stuff. So I just wanted you to remember that when you're looking at fitness videos, when you're looking at magazines, billboards, anything that you're seeing that's professionally shot, there's usually a whole crew of people that are there to just make sure that one person looks their best. And so just remember that that's not the truth. It's not reality. Yeah, I mean, I fall into it because I, I want to look my best when I'm doing a DVD cover or when I'm shooting web images. But I just want you guys to know that, that I keep it real in SBF workouts and I want you to keep it real with yourself. When you see something and it might make you feel like you know, you're wanting to compare yourself or you're maybe looking at something and um, it's making you feel badly about yourself, that it's not who you are. You're not your thighs, you're not your abs, and you, we're, there's no such thing as perfection. And I just want you to be free from that. I just want you to remind you. I don't think we can be reminded enough. In this culture, and I think it's worth mentioning and I also wanted to throw something out there when you're at the grocery store or you're at the drugstore and you're going through the aisles at the checkout and you're seeing all the gossip magazines where all these women are and men are being put on display for how horrible they look or they gained 20 pounds or this person looks amazing and they got this by this crazy diet whatever just I just want to encourage you not to read those magazines and not to pay money for them because when you that is just terrible comparison and it's really feasting and feeding on things that are not the truth and it's gossip and it's just not going to help us. It's not going to help us be free from all this junk and these ideals that society, we allow society to place on us. So just be encouraged. I just, I just wanted to maybe throw that out there. Maybe if you're looking at those magazines and even fashion magazines, if those bother you, just don't watch. I, I, for many years, I would never even touch one because I just had my own body image issues and I just really, that was just a problem for me. So I just stopped. Now I can look at them and enjoy and appreciate the art, but I don't like maybe once a year I look at a fashion magazine. So anyway, just throwing that out there. I love you guys. Keep up your workouts. If you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, keep telling me and, um, and on the group and, and on the website how you're doing with that. And keep up the great work. Keep being grateful. I'm grateful for you and I will see you soon.